assault this man. Don't assault this man. Just because you've got all the money in the world don't give you the right to assault this man. You just fired him. It was a million dollar deal. You think he ain't going to be pissed? It's a million dollar deal. What you think? I'm not going to come down there and be like, yo, what the fuck? Fuck you. This is Venice. I just ride on my bike, man, in Venice. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> $250,000 for two motion pictures, Matrix 2 and 3. $250,000. No billing, no hotel, nothing like that. So you have to pay for all your other expenses? I guess so. No for per diem? For a year. And until, I guess, and, and that's... Can somebody with a valid license come down here with you? And I was like, why am I going to do the movie? I said, I'd rather work for UPS than do the movie for $250,000. I was like, first of all, like, first of all on Matrix 1, I don't get no residuals for all those DVDs. You get no residuals at all? I'll get one residual. Let me write this down in business card. That's unheard of. Now, they forced me, they insisted that I had their agent Dave Warshafter of William Morris Agency represent me on this deal instead of so my lawyers. They insisted on ten times and that's why Screen Actors Guild is okay. about to get on the ass because that's that illegal. You cannot do that. That's mafia okay, tactics. And when and then when I didn't agree to their terms, they wouldn't come at me. They want to starve me out. Right? And then I'll tell you. Right yeah, we'll yes, we'll yes, do now this a hundred times. Yeah, they knew okay. Probably. Okay. Pacific Communication Station, so what are you going to help you? Okay. Oh. Okay, hold on one second. Let me check. Pacific Communication Station, so what are you going to help you? No, no, no. Where did you get the injury to your arm? Where did you get the injury? You know, now they don't want me doing my documentary. They don't want me doing all the things that's going down because they want to keep the story here. They want to keep it under wraps. Yeah, I know. They want to keep it under wraps. And I'm like, no. Now, everyone in the world is going to know this story because Paul, Roos, Paul Robeson didn't have a camera when he was there, but we got one now. You see, this is a different age. This is a different age. You can't just exploit somebody in this day and age because we can record it. And I'm the top of the game. This is the number one franchise in the world. Competes with Star Wars. They don't want to give me a million dollars. That's all I wanted. Cypher, the guy I killed in, in Matrix 1, got a million dollars for that one movie. They want me to do a, three movies for 250 Yes, I you said I could come and yeah. one of you know. It's like, I don't think I can have any of that. I mean, I guess the hero just came out. Um, which one did you take into the backyard? The one that was driving? Or the okay, and she was also saying, you know, Spanish? And she was being stable. Like, she was being stable. She was being stable. She was being stable. She was being stable. She was being Mike, give me a favor. Come on in here for a minute. We're going to go back here. No, the detectives want to talk to you. He'll get a call, and he can give you guys a call. I can tell you now his bill is $50,000. But I'm seeing there's usually a number to get the call. What's the call? They made information. No, that's counting. We're sitting yeah. That's kind of, Now, tomorrow or the next day, if you went to County Jail, you could do that. That's what I'll But he'll call you in a little while, I'm sure. Cool. Okay, well, thanks for bringing him down, guys. Cool. My name is David. I'm an old friend of Marcus's. Uh, he called me today. He said he had a plan. He wanted to work out a uh, solution. 
with the people he was having problems negotiating with. Uh, he'd felt threatened because of some insinuations that they made on the phone regarding his well-being. And he was concerned. He decided to uh, get some people to document the event and get cooperation from the police so that no one would uh, come to any harm, particularly himself, as he, was, he felt like he was at risk. Um, so he asked me to give him a ride, which I did, so we could meet up with the film crew, and then supposedly obtain help from the police on uh, arriving at the L.A. police station in Culver City. Um, the detectives had taken Marcus into custody and not told us under what charges.